All right, topic 1.5, short and sweet. Uh, doing a little problem solving, seeing if there's any missing or extra information in some of these problems. Let me give you a problem and see if you can figure out what information is missing where you just can't solve this problem. Let's say Juno rides his bike twice as far on Sunday as he does on Saturday. So how many miles does he ride on Sunday? There's no way to solve that, is there? You have to know how far he rode on Saturday, so you could double that to find out what he rode on the Sunday. So let's go ahead and fill in some of that missing information. You're going to have to do that on some of your problems in the lesson tomorrow. Let's say on Saturday he rode 7 miles. So on Sunday, if he doubled that, that would mean on Sunday he rode 14 miles. So, yeah, if you know how far he rode on the Saturday, you can figure that out for the Sunday. Today's flip math, we're going to go over a couple of problems. Some of them have too little information. Some of them have too much information. That's what we need to figure out. Let's take a look at one. Let's take a look at this problem right here. Uh, and then you're going to decide if this problem has extra or missing information. Okay, it takes four hours to drive from Boston to New York. Jordan has a meeting in New York at 2 o'clock p.m. Can she arrive at her meeting on time? So, does this have too much, too little? Can you solve this? No, we cannot solve this, can we? There's a couple things um, that are missing here. One, we, know we need to know well, where Jordan is, right? Where is Jordan? Where is she starting from? Okay, can we assume that she is in Boston? No, we don't. We just know when her appointment is. And also we need to know uh, what time she's going to leave. She leaves. Okay, And then that will let us know if she can get to her 2 o'clock appointment in New York. Simple, right? Let's try another. How about this one? Franco hikes four miles each day for five days, and he carries 100 ounces of water with him. If it takes him one hour to hike four miles, how many hours did he hike in the five days? Anything missing or anything extra? Uh, yes, there's something extra. Point to it. Are you pointing to this right here, that he carries 100 ounces of water with him? That's correct. We do not need that to solve this problem. So the question is, how many hours does he hike in the five days? So he walks, hikes four miles each day for five days. It takes him an hour. Whoa! So if it just takes him one hour to hike four miles, and he hikes the four miles each day, so how many hours did he hike in the five days? Well, that would be the five times one, that would be five hours. Did you get that one? Let's try another. Krista can type 60 words per minute. She wrote an essay by hand in five hours, and now four pages, and now it is four pages long. She wants to type her essay, so how many words can she type in 45 minutes? Whoa. You may need to pause this for a second. See if there, there's definitely extra information in there. Why don't you pause this and see if you can figure out what the extra information is and then start the recording again. Did you figure this one out? Look what the question's asking us. How many words can she type in 45 minutes? Well, do we need to know about this essay that she can write by hand in five hours? No, we can get rid of that. And do we need to know how many pages long it is? No. Let's get rid of that information. All we really need to know is that she can type 60 words per minute. So 60 words per minute, how many words can she just type in 45 minutes? How would we solve that one? Correct. All we got to do is just take 45 times 60, right? 60 words per minute for 45 minutes be much easier to record 60 times the 45 and then solve this 5 times 0 
zero. Five times is six, thirty. Put that. Four. Let's go ahead and add that because that's actually forty. Four times is zero, zero. Four times the six, two hundred forty. Add those together and we get zero, zero, seven, two. So she can type in 45 minutes, 2,700 words total. All right, get your assignment that you are looking at over here. Go ahead and solve those and look at the instructions. It says decide if the following problems have extra or missing information and solve if possible. Make sure that you do that to get your credit for that. Okay? I shall see you in the morning.